Welcome to Grade 3! Good day, Grade 3 little scientists! I will be your guide in acquiring new knowledge. I am Teacher Michelle. Are you ready to learn? Let's start! Our lesson for today is about changes in materials from solid to liquid. There are changes that take place in materials. Some solids can change into liquids. Liquids can change into solids. Solids and liquids can change into gases. And the question is, how do these changes occur in materials? Let's find out. Do you know what is this? Right, a thermometer. This is a thermometer. It measures the temperature of an object. Low temperature indicates coolness, while high temperature indicates Hotness. The temperature can increase or decrease. When it is increasing, this process is called heating. When it is decreasing, this process is called cooling. In this lesson, you will learn that there are some solids that can become liquids when exposed to heat. Look at the butter before it is heated. Is it solid? What happens to it after it is heated? How does solid change into liquid? Study the butter being heated below. When butter is heated on the frying pan, it melts because it is exposed to heat. Thus, its temperature increases. Butter is an example of a solid. When heated, it becomes liquid. There are some solid materials that can be changed into liquids by heating or exposing them to sunlight or warm air. Like ice cream, ice cubes, and butter. They melt and change into liquids when left in an open place where there is sunlight and warm air. This process is called melting or liquefaction. Now, let us have an activity. Get your paper and pencil. 
Are you ready? Number one. When ice is cold, it melts. True or false? Number two. Sugar becomes liquid when heated. True or false? Number three. Crayon will still be solid when heated. True or false? Number four. Candles will melt when lighted. True or false? And number five. When you hold an ice cube, it will melt in your hands. True or false? Remember, phase change can happen when the temperature of the material is increased. Melting happens by increasing the temperature of the materials. Solids can be changed into liquids by melting. I'm going to read a short story to you. One fine morning, two kids bought an ice cream. Mmm, the ice cream is so sweet. Yes, I know, but my teeth hurt. So what will you do? Hmm, I will eat this after an hour. Oh dear, you should eat your ice cream right away because if you don't, your ice cream will melt. Right, I think I have to eat it when my toothache goes away. And now, let us answer the following questions. Write your answer in a separate sheet of paper. Number one. What will happen if Emma will not eat her ice cream right away? A. The ice cream will melt. B. The vendor will walk away. C. Joel will get angry. D. The ice cream will dry. Number 2. What change in material will take place if the ice cream is not eaten right away. A. Liquid to solid. B. Solid to liquid. C. Liquid to gas. D. No change at all. And number three, complete this statement. Solid materials like can be changed into by and 
Now, let us analyze each item carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. The process of changing solid into liquid is called The process of changing solid into liquid is called A. Decreasing B. Healing C. Increasing D. Melting Number 2. There are some solids that can be changed into liquids by simply exposing them to There are some solids that can be changed into liquids by simply exposing them to A. Cold air B. Moonlight D. Sunlight D. Moisture Number 3 The following materials can be changed into liquid except The following materials can be changed into liquid except A. Ice cream B. Margarine C. Ice cubes D. Sugar Number 4 Which of the following materials melts when heated? Which of the following materials melts when heated? A. Milk powder B. Salt C. White sugar D. Wax And number 5. What is the other word for melting? What is the other word for melting? A. Cooling B. Changing C. Heating D. Liquefaction